So when you were a senator, you went to bat for me, and, and uh, I remember when I was a chaplain and I wasn't allowed to pray in Jesus' name, you helped change that law, and you defended so many other religious freedom causes. Can you talk about your faith and what that means to you? Well, um, it, it's a long story, but I didn't come to know the Lord till I was 25 years old. But uh, the journey since then has been fantastic. My wife and I talk about that a lot. Don't, we don't think we would be together if the Lord didn't hold us together during a lot of hard times. But um, you do, the, 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 the Proverbs tell us to seek wisdom and that the wisdom comes from the Lord. And I'm, I'm just convinced that the uh, ability to understand our country and what made it so exceptional you really have to see it through a spiritual lens and, and a faith lens because that's the way our founders looked at it. And the thing that drove so many people to this country was really a, a spiritual freedom uh, that resulted from the Reformation. And I, I love to get into that history because it just, um, it's so much a part of our early founding. So we could talk about that for a couple of hours, <laughs> uh, but faith has always been a part of America. Not that we need government to promote it, but we need to get the government to stop purging faith from all aspects of our society.